What's up guys, this is gonna be a quick episode, but I wanted to talk about the Stripe signing secret, which is a required thing for using webhooks from Stripe now in Rails with the Stripe event gem. And the reason for that is because when you receive a webhook, you wanna make sure that it came from Stripe and not someone else maliciously attacking your application, trying to issue themselves refunds and get your product for free or something weird like that. So what we wanna do is verify that those webhooks are actually coming from Stripe. This is really simple. Stripe actually has in their developer section under webhooks, when you click on your endpoint, you can see a signing secret. So this is pretty simple. You click to reveal this, you're gonna copy this and then add that to your Rails application and set that in the Stripe event gem so that it can match those and make sure that they are equal. And if they're not equal, it knows not to process that webhook. So it's pretty much that simple. So to set this up in our Rails app, you're gonna need to go into your Stripe event code and set that up. So we have an initializer here, config initializer stripe.rb. We set this up in our series before. And so Stripe event has a signing secret uh, attribute here, and we just need to set that equal to this value. And so one easy way to do that is, you know, we could just set this string uh, hard-coded like that. Um, we've already done that with our constant here for our Stripe API key, but I would recommend actually setting this either in your application secrets with an environment variable or using your encrypted credentials in Rails 5.2 or higher. So let's use Rails application secrets and we'll add Stripe signing key to that. So if we go into our secrets, dot yaml file we can open that up and you'll see here um, i've put in the stripe signing secret into development and then for production i put it as an environment variable and the reason for the difference between the two is i have a separate stripe account for development and development only so anytime i clone this repo to another computer or someone else works with me on it they can actually use stripe and just use my development account not the production account and that's going to be nice for adding anybody to the repo so that they can fiddle with Stripe as much as they want on a test account safely um, and we can just hard code these keys in because it's okay to share those because we're not using that for anything real. So the production keys you don't really want to have anywhere except for production and on your servers so we have that one set up as an environment variable instead. And that's really all there is to it. If we save this um, and restart our Rails application it will sign this variable and we'll be able to access that um, is needed. Now, another option here is that you can set multiple of these values. So if you happen to have an application that processes um, multiple webhooks for different uh, applications, different customers, whatever that might be, you can actually go here and add in an array of those keys and so you can have that set up nicely so that you can process uh, webhooks for various endpoints and that will uh, treat those accordingly. So you have this, it's basically the exact same as the above. Um, it, this is just an alias for the above and that is it. So that's all you have to do to enable this in your Rails application, but it's definitely required um, to make sure that you're not going to get any malicious attacks on your Rails application. So it's important to add um, and really not a very hard thing to do either. So that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you in the next one.